Do I run reflective shield? Uh, sometimes. Not as RMP, though. Does running it hurt RMP? No, but it's just, like, it's a waste of two talent points. Because it doesn't really add any kill potential. Because of the way the RMP sets up and kills stuff, generally the reflected damage isn't going to actually add any value to that. You know, you're going to cross CC some people and stun one guy and all nuke him, right? That's like the way RMP kills stuff. The reflective isn't going to add any damage value to that go in an, an, any meaningful way. If it's something like TSG or something that zergs the priest, then there are situations when, yeah, the, the reflective damage can add a bit of value. But like if you, if you look at it, in terms of like that reflected damage on someone. So like say you shield, right? And the warrior hits into it and gets 3k damage reflected on himself, right? If that warrior, if, if nothing's happening at that moment and the warrior just gets healed up to full, that reflected damage isn't adding any pressure, right? Because he's getting topped regardless. But if he doesn't get topped, then that pressure is adding value. You know, you're, you're creating pressure to the enemy healer by reflecting additional damage. So you can like pull people behind pillars and things like this. And the reflective shield is going to contribute to keeping them lower. So that, for example, if you're playing Priest Hunter against Pallor Warrior or something and the warrior is on you, you bring him behind a pillar. He's got dots. He's taking damage from the hunter. He's got aimed shot. And, you know, he, he's getting consistent pressure, right, from the hunter. So he's going to be on like, you know, 60% or something. And then the pal is going to get a scatter trap. Obviously, this is an ideal scenario, but it's a scenario that can happen. Now the warrior is already on 60% and he hasn't been healed up. So all of that reflective shield damage has pure, like, 100% value, right? This is damage that he wouldn't have otherwise taken. So he's lower than he otherwise would have been for free. So things like Priest Feral, Priest Hunter, uh, Priest DK, they all kind of do damage in that way, right? Where it's kind of like sustainy damage with a little bit of added CC. And this is where reflective is strong. So this is these are the kind of comps where you want to use it. Whereas like burst comps and, and setup comps like Priest Rogue, Priest Mage, RMP, you don't really want the reflective shield because the damage value isn't going to assist in the way that you're going to kill stuff.